Can I just say how much I love tournament arcs? I've been praising it for quite a while here, but I absolutely love this. I love how the final batch of this tournament arc is literally the one-on-one -on -one fighting situations. This season is just, it makes me feel like such a young kid again, just waking up on Saturday morning. This episode was great as we get a lot of information. We get some pretty funny moments like with Minita, literally... <laughs> This guy is a pervy scum lord, but I have to give him credit. He's slowly rising to be one of my favorite characters. Literally telling the girls, hey, I don't know if you just forgot, but you're supposed to be changing into the cheerleader uniforms as he points to people in cheerleader uniforms. And they're just like, wait, what are you saying? He's like, well, you don't have to believe me. I just don't want you guys to get in trouble. To then them just being like, crushed me like, why did I fall for his plans again? That guy's the ultimate scum lord. I absolutely love how he just does anything for a bit of a peep at a girl's body. But there's a couple of things that I really like with this episode. Mine is just the awesome scum scumminess of Mirza is the fact that Todoroki pretty much says or just calls out Deku saying your power is very similar to All Might how do you have some sort of relation because he witnesses All Might's power firsthand and the ability that Deku used against him last week it felt very similar so he's saying like what relation do you have with him pretty much like putting Deku on the spot of not knowing what to do but then when you pan away you actually see Bakugo in the background listening in so he also probably heard much of that whole All Might conversation which probably will play a factor in the near future but I absolutely love just pretty much we get the confirmation of what it is what is Todoroki truly like why is he so afraid to use one of his abilities which essentially his father is just he wants to be the best he's always been in All Might Shadow always being that number two hero and his whole plan is to just make his son to be someone to surpass All Might's successor pretty much and it's crazy how this father he seems to have no love for his son whatsoever and this has been reflected on Todoroki and that's why he wants to be able to surpass everything that's been thrown in front of him without using the power that his father gave him and use only his ice abilities which makes total sense and I quite respect him as a character like this season I think Todoroki is probably my most interested character to watch because he feels like such a he feels like a guy you really want to root for he's kind of put into an antagonist position because we are following Deku who is the protagonist but I absolutely love what they're doing to him and also seeing that backstory and also seeing just all my kind of look at this guy like god damn this guy's an asshole but there seems to be something else going on there which I'm sure we won't know until later on into the season but seeing the very end of this fight here which this one guy who looked to have like a lion tail he pulls out of the competition saying like I don't understand how I even got here it kind of just I all blacked out and then I was in the victory squad here so he backs out because he feels like he doesn't belong here and he tells Deku to not answer this guy and when you hear that you're like why isn't he kind of thinking like well it has to relate to his power and when Deku starts fighting he answers him and then immediately freezes so it seems like there's some sort of like mind control or some sort of body control going on with his powers and it seems to only activate when someone response to a question that this guy poses now i would assume deku's going to get out of the situation but it's not going to be easy but it's very interesting to see such an op power at the very start of the final part of this tournament arc and i'm going to be interested to see what they ultimately pull with this and how deku could overcome it or maybe he won't overcome it but i think my favorite part of the episode is just learning the full kind of the full circleness of todoroki because it's been layered like he doesn't want to use his fire abilities why is he like so against his father and to finally understand why he is so against his father it makes little sense and I would be doing the same thing if I was in his shoes. I think this season is doing brilliant because it's not just being a tournament arc, it's also giving a lot of characterization to some of these side characters. With season one, it was mainly just a Deku kind of like story as well as All Might. So I love having like, it's still very focused on Deku and his growing and the fact that he can only use about 5% of All Might's power now, which actually is fairly good. Like he used to only be able to do 0% or 100%. So the fact that he's able to use at least 5% and 5% is very powerful mind you it's great to see his growth but also see the growth and just characterization of some of the other side characters and i'm really excited to see how long this kind of tournament arc is going to last and i have a question for the manga readers because we are in kind of the battle stage of this is this going to take up the rest of the first core like episode 12 or 13 or is this actually going to last longer or shorter i don't want any spoilers like specifics on this arc but how long do you think it's going to take to finish this final part of the tournament arc and is it probably going to finish around the first core before it leads into the next arc i'd be really interested to hear like how long I should expect to watch this tournament arc for before it ends but I really did enjoy this episode there was that comedy there was that characterization but then there was also that badassness when you see Deku pretty much just paralyzed can't move because he didn't do what he was supposed to not answer this guy and instead now he's pretty much just kind of screwed to no end and I'm really excited to see what they do with next week's episode I think this was definitely just as enjoyable as the past few episodes 
Really excited to see what they do with it, but just overall, I'm just very impressed by the overall production quality from the art and animation. It feels very consistent, not a lot of dips in quality, but that definitely does help because the actual art style they chose for this is very cartoony and kind of like comic book feel. So when it does dip, it's not very noticeable anyway, but I'm really excited to see what they do next week. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you love the episode? Do you hate it? Do you think it was just okay? Before you leave, smack that like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.